If your home buying plans have been put on hold, hoping for the absolute best opportunity or that screaming deal to come onto the market, then today might just be your day. If you've seen any of my other videos, then you'll know that I'm a huge fan of quick moving new construction homes. And that's because they offer some of the absolute best buying opportunities in today's market. And the home that you see directly behind me is one of those opportunities. In fact, since this home was first listed for sale, it has had its price reduced by $133,000. Today I'm coming to you from the Windsong Ranch community in Prosper, and the home behind me was built by Coventry Homes. It is a five bedroom, three and a half bath home in just under 4,500 square feet of living space. It's completely done, it is move in ready, and I know you are absolutely going to love it. So we're about to go take a look around on the inside, but I invite you to make sure that you stick around because throughout this video, I'm going to be giving you different tips and and reasons why now, contrary to what you might believe, could be the absolute best opportunity or best time to buy a home. Let's go take a look. Welcome inside. One of the first things that you notice as you come into this home is the expanse of space. Now it is a large home at almost 4,500 square feet, but the entryway here, as I pan up, it is a full two story height ceiling, and that's gonna extend most of the way back, and you're gonna find it's the exact same in the great room. Now just here off of the main entry, you do have a study. So you do have that home office right here at the front of the house. It's got cathedral type ceilings and then you've got these windows right off of the front which makes it really nice. Very easy to build in a bookcase, have a desk uh, situated in multiple different ways in this home. Now just beyond the study is something that we don't see in homes very often. The chandelier, yes, that's a dining room. So in addition to the breakfast area, this room itself has a dining room, which is one of those rooms you don't see very often. And check out the ceiling detail right there. So a really nice touch in this home overall. Now, there are going to be two bedrooms located on the main floor, and then upstairs, we're going to have the additional three bedrooms, as well as a game room and a media room. Even though it's a really large house, I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't find the secondary bedrooms to be overly large, but they're not a bad size. You're gonna easily fit queen size bed, things like that in these rooms. So here again, you've got the windows across the front. Then you do have this closet, good size closet. And then this bedroom here does feature an ensuite bath. So you've got the vanity here. And then as you come back around this way, you do have a full walk-in shower. Now, the tiles in the shower don't go all the way up to the ceiling, which I'll be honest with you, I wish they did, especially for a home at this price point, but they do not. Now, as we continue into the home, you've got the staircase right here, which is a circular style staircase. And then it leads directly back through into the great room. And this home, what's my opinion of this home overall? I guess it really depends on what you're looking for, to be honest with you. It is lacking a little bit in wow factor as far as I'm concerned. We look at the fireplace right here. It's nice, the tiles do go all the way up to the second floor. But the finish out, even the wood floors that are in here, they're not actually wood, they're a luxury vinyl plank. They're nice, but they're done in that darker color. And then you've got, as I mentioned, the fireplace. We're in the main room here. I will flip the camera around in just a second. You've got the kitchen right here. Again, nice countertops, nice cabinets, but nothing that's making me say, wow. There isn't even a double oven. And that is something that I think in many cases, that builders have gotten away from in some of the homes that they're building. As we all know, prices in this area have skyrocketed over the last couple of years. But I think with that, there's some things and features in different homes that the builders have cut out 
that they shouldn't have cut out. They're things that people generally want. And I'd like to see the builders put some of those things back in. And they may in fact have to, if in fact the market becomes a little bit more competitive, which it's not right now. The builders are still in control and sales are still moving. But when you start comparing builders and products, those are the type of things that you wanna keep an eye out for and look for. Now, if you've got questions about things like that and what different builders do and don't have and offer and what my opinion is, don't hesitate to, to reach out. I'll be more than happy to answer those questions for you. I've gone ahead and spun the camera around to give you a better idea of what the kitchen looks like. And right here, we've got the breakfast area, so plenty of windows, both sides, nice and bright in here. I will admit, I do like this island. I like the fact that they've got these posts um, on the corners, plenty of room for bar stools there. And as you can see, it's curved. So it does add a little bit of character, something that you don't see all the time. But again, it's a basic cabinet. There's no cabinet hardware that's coming as standard. And then the backsplash itself, it's a subway type tile. It's got, you can't really see it very well, but it is a marble like finish. So it does have a bit of a sheen to it. Solid white quartz countertops. Then you've got the five burner cooktop. As we come around, you've just got the stainless steel sink. And then you've got these darker gray, bluish gray counters for the islands. And then you do have a pattern in the countertop here. So adjacent to the kitchen right here, you do have a butler's pantry that leads through back into the dining room. And again, it's finished out much the same. As we continue around, here we are back in the dining room. So as mentioned, the color scheme in this home is, it, it's cool. It, it doesn't exude warmth. The home doesn't wrap its arms around you, if that makes sense. And just, it's not that it doesn't invite you in, it's just done in cooler colors. My own personal home is done in a gray tone. So it's not like I'm opposed to that, but I just think with the darker floors and the way these finishes are, it may be one of the reasons that this home has not gone under contract yet. But let me know your thoughts. Go ahead, put them in the comments below. Let me know what you think of the color scheme, what you think of the finishes, and what you'd like to see different. What are the features that are most important to you? If you have additional questions about this home or the market in general or a specific situation that you want to discuss in more detail, then I invite you to reach out. I offer a free consultation to everybody. There's absolutely no obligation whatsoever. You can go ahead and in the link or in the description below, you're going to find a link to my calendar where you can schedule that consultation. Otherwise, go ahead and scan the QR code on the screen, and that will also take you directly to the calendar where you can book that call at a time that works for you. All right, so I spun the camera back around again as adjacent to the family room here. We've got this hallway. You've got a powder bath right here. Off to the other side, you've got the entrance to the primary bedroom, which we'll come to in just a second. As we continue down the hallway, we then lead to, to mud bench. We'll say really nice mud bench. You've got eight cubbies up there, lots of different storage areas, also compartments at the bottom. And then that door leads out to the three car tandem garage. And it is nice. There are full epoxy floors in that garage. So they've done a nice job there. And then as we walk through into the master bedroom, again, you've got this nice ceiling detail, nice and tall right here. And then you've got bay windows at the back. This is a nice room. It's a really nice size room overall. And then the one window right there does overlook the rear patio. All right, so I've made my way through. I'm now in the main bath here. And again, I'm gonna spin this camera around for you, but the finishes, it's nice, it's clean. There's nothing wrong with it. But again, I'm just kind of missing the wow factor on this one. So here we've got one of the vanities. You've got a standalone tub. You've got the other vanity. And then you've got the shower right here. The tiles do go all the way up to the ceiling in this one, which is nice. And then this is super bright. You've got this one big window across the back. And then again, you've got this other big window across the side. And considering this is a corner lot, maybe some obscure glass there would have been a better option so you don't have to put necessarily a blind up on that. And then you go through here 
into the main closet. But again, unlike some of the other builders, you know, this closet is a little bit smaller for the primary one and it doesn't have those built-in cubbies and shelves that you see quite often. It does lead directly into the laundry room. But again, even if we look at the laundry room flooring here, you've got 12 by 12 tile. Um, so again, none of the pattern tile, nothing jumping up at or, or jumping out at me. Right, and you've got no cabinets, just those shelves. And then you do have a space over here for a refrigerator kind of behind this door. So from here, let's go ahead and make our way outside. I do like this backyard. It's a good size overall, as you can see, I can around here. So it's again, a corner lot. So you got plenty of room here. You could fit a pool back here. You could put a trampoline back here. You could put a playground back here. Basically anything that you want back here. There's plenty of room for it, is what I'm trying to say. Now, I have to admit, overall, I do like this backyard. I'm gonna show you in just a second. I'll spin this camera around, but you've got this covered patio that does wrap around on both sides. So it goes behind the breakfast area there, as well as this area. You've got a gas step for if you wanna put a barbecue in. And then it's a good size yard overall. So here's a better view of that covered patio. So you've got the area behind the breakfast nook right there. And as I span across, you can see you've got this other area here. And then on the corner there, you do have the gas stub. And as I just pan around this way, you can see being a corner lot, you've got plenty of room back here. So whatever you wanted to do, if you wanted a pool, you want room for a trampoline, you've got a whole pack of dogs that need to run, um, you wanna put in a playground, you name it, it will definitely fit. And then you've also got quite a bit of room down this side as well, which is really nice. So there we are looking down the side. So again, plenty of space back here overall. As of this recording, the list price on this home is $1,096,990. But that pricing is subject to change at any time. So if you would like the latest pricing information as well as additional details about the home, want to be able to see a floor plan, go ahead, check the link in the description below, or alternatively, scan the QR code on your screen here as that's going to lead you directly to a property details page that will have the latest pricing and property information available. So now as we've come back inside, what's your impression of the downstairs overall? What do you think? Do you agree with some of the comments I've made? Am I being too critical about the house? My goal here is just to give you some information that's gonna help you make the best decision for you and your family and just sharing my own thoughts, right? Rather than just saying, that is great. I just wanna point out the different things that I notice and see between many of the different builders since I get to tour so many different homes. Now, as I mentioned right at the beginning, why would you even consider buying a home now? As let's face it, October, November, December are not your typical, oh my gosh, it's the busy season to buy a home. They're not that at all. So why would you even consider it? Well, because they're not that typical time for people to buy. So deals like this, you don't find as often in the spring when everybody is out and we're in the traditional busy time of the year. October, November, December here in the North Texas market are the slow times of the year. They're the times when you find some of the best opportunities. Inventory is a little bit higher than it has been for quite a while. It's not way higher than it was before the pandemic. As a matter of fact, in many areas, it's still a little bit lower, right? And we're seeing pricing hold stable. It's not really soaring. It's not really going down. We're just kind of holding steady at the moment. And especially when mortgage rates dropped recently, you did see more buyer activity and that spurred more people to jump back into the market. So again, when is the right time to buy? When it's the right time for you to buy, you know, my advice is not, don't try and time the market, but if you are in a position to make a move and you want to do that and avoid more competition, these next few months, this fourth quarter, could be a great time for you to consider doing that. 
On top of that, we've got a presidential election coming up, and the month prior to is always really slow. But I'll tell you, if you go back over the past elections, you find that following the election, in the year after the election, home prices and total sales tend to go up. So just keep that in mind as you're considering when it's the right time for you to buy. Let's go take a look upstairs. As I mentioned right at the beginning of this video, you're going to find that the game room, the media room, and three additional bedrooms are on the second floor. And one of the things that I think they did really well with regard to this layout is the game room and the media room are on an opposite side to the bedrooms. But I'm gonna spin the camera around again for you. The game room is open to the media room. And I know that's something some buyers really like. I myself, not a big fan of it. I like my media room to be closed off and separate. How about you? Do you have a preference? Which is it that you would rather have in your home? Let me know, put it down in the comments below. So here's what I mean. Here at the top of the stairs, this right here opens up into the game room. It is a nice size room. You got plenty of light. You've got these four windows all the way across the side. But as you can see, as I continue panning, it does open up directly into the media room. So you've got the uh, hookups to your TV and all of your surround sound systems and speakers on this wall right here. You know, you've got the cubby cutout right there if you wanted to build in some storage. But again, as I pan around, you will see it is just open to the game room. And like I said, for me personally, I'd like to see the media room painted dark and be able to be shut off from the rest of the house. Now here we'll make our way into the first of the secondary bedrooms. Again, not a huge room, but not a terrible size by any means, right? And then you do have a nice closet right here. And then again, this one has a Jack and Jill bath that's shared with one of the other bedrooms. So you've got the vanity right here. You make your way through. You have a tub shower combo. Again, the subway tile. Would have liked to have seen those tiles go all the way to the ceiling. And then you've got the other vanity right here. And then you make your way through to the other bedroom which is just a little bit smaller than that one. And you've got this interesting cutout area right here underneath the window. So it's not necessarily an area where you put a desk in or do something. So a little bit of a weird space right there, to be honest with you. And as we walk down this way, you have the other bedroom, the third bedroom upstairs right here, which is the largest of the three. You got a fairly decent sized closet. If I pan around here, that is actually a fairly good size. It's a bigger room overall. And then this one does not have a bath contained within the bedroom. It's not en suite. You've got the bath right here off the hallway, which would be also used by anyone visiting or people from the game room. Again, tub shower combo. And those tiles, I would love to see you go all the way up to that ceiling. So what did you think of this home overall? What's your final impression? I'd love to know. What did you love about it? What did you not like about it? What were the things about the floor plan that you thought were good? Or if, you know, maybe there's a home that you've got your eyes on or you're thinking about, or you like this feature, but wish it had this. Let me know those things and I'd be more than happy to try and match you with the builder in the community that best suits your needs. Now, you know, I gave a lot of my opinion during this video, you know, it sounded like I was pretty critical of many things. And again, that's just my opinion. I'm not trying to deter you or tell you this isn't a great house in a great neighborhood. It is, everybody tastes are different, right? But I just wanna share some of the things from my own personal perspective that I thought, right? You may agree, you may disagree, and that is absolutely fine. Either way, I wanna thank you for spending a few minutes touring this home with me today. And again, if you have any questions whatsoever, 
please don't hesitate to reach out. Hopefully you found value in this type of video. If you did, go ahead, give me the thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing to this channel because I put out new videos each and every week where I share different things about different communities, different builders, and what's going on in our local real estate market. So again, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, I know you're gonna enjoy one of these videos coming up next.